Right, today's video is another one that's been requested for a lot by you. Uh, clubs that came out, I don't know, quite a while ago now, but the O211s 2 and the O311s 3 from PXG have seen massive price reductions since their initial introduction. I think that's why so many people are now interested between the comparison of the two. And the question is, O211s 2 11s £80 a club, O311s 135 a club, the difference now is, it's still a big difference, you're still paying £50 a club more, why are you paying that difference? Is it worth the difference? Or, and my question in my head is, are the 0311s an absolute steal right now for a forged club of this kind of quality, or should you just grab that bargain at 80 quid a club when they're 0211s? I reckon one of the first things that is going to sway you one way or the other in terms of these two irons, apart from price that is, is the looks because they're quite different. The 0311 is very much what I would call a PXG iron, what sort of uh, brought them to my attention if you like in the first place. This kind of nuts and bolts look to it, they're uh, very much uh, industrial if you like, the way the finish is on the back end. And, I do think it's kind of maybe like a Marmite look, I don't know, but for me, like I said, it's very much different to what's out there in the marketplace, and it's one that caught my eye straight away. Whereas the 0211 is probably a bit more similar to other clubs that are out there in the marketplace. We've seen it before, it's that hollow body design, as they both are, it's a bit more shiny if you like. A little bit more quality looking in terms of the build, in my opinion, on the 0311s, you can start to see the differences, but they're the first two key things. Do you want that look that you've seen before, or do you want that very much PXG look in the bag? Right, so we've done looks in terms of shelf appeal, and the next thing I think is that we've got to talk about how they look at a dress, because there are big differences between these two clubs. They perhaps are aimed at different players. The one thing I'll say at this point is don't forget in the Gen 3, You've got an option of taking a player's iron, which is the one that sits in the middle, a tall model or the XP. So there's three variations in terms of the size of the head. What we're going to have a look at today is the standard head in that 0211 and it's the player's model that I have in hand. So that's what we're going to look at. We'll go back out on the course, the par three course here at Forgolf, to take a closer look at what are the differences are aesthetically. And I'm going to stay in here and I'm going to collect some data. Right, so one of the big deals I said was uh, how this thing looks at a dress and uh, they do differ in shape and profile as players in the 0211 model but what really interested me and surprised me a little bit to be honest with you as many of you will know I've got this 0311 in the bag so I don't look at it as being a particularly chunky top line but it's uh, it's interesting that in the 0211 when they're at a dress the 0211 if anything looks a slightly narrower profile which really surprised me and it's not so much that it is a narrow profile, it's this clever thing that they've done with a lot of clubs over this last 12, 18 months. It's just the way in which this sort of top line has been chamfered off. And that's where the difference is. There's certainly a bulkier club and a lot more mass with the 0211 than there is with this player's model. But that top line doesn't look that way at a dress. But then when you move into the longer irons, this is where there is a noticeable difference at a dress. And what you'll see is that you see some of the back end of the club of the 0211 and that's the bit that I'm not overly keen on it's slightly it's not off-putting but that's where it becomes a sort of that game improvement club if you like it comes a much chunkier profile and the 5 iron and the 0311 all that is hidden away the question is, is how much help is being packed into that chunkiness of the 0211 and what we're losing out in this thinner profile on the 03 level and the only way to find that out is by getting the dry ball data at the end of this video. Right, so in terms of collecting data, what have I found so far? Well, we'll get to the numbers at the end. What I meant to say there was visually what have I seen so far? Don't forget these 0211s versus the player's model of the Gen 3, which is what I've got in hand. There's a loft difference. The 0211 is slightly stronger lofted, but you could, don't forget, take up that option of the XP model in the Gen 3 and therefore the lofts would be very, very similar indeed. And all I'm seeing visually, and maybe particularly towards the longer end in the bag, is a slightly flatter ball flight with the uh, 0211s. And that's literally because of the loft. But I would also say, for considering it's only um, a couple of degrees at most, what I'm seeing is a much higher, easier to launch ball, in my opinion, with the Gen 3s than what I am seeing with the 211s down uh, at that longer end of the bag. But I've just got 9-9 in hand at the minute with Gen 3. And I want to talk about the other major difference 
that I think separates these two irons. Right, so the next big thing for me, which is a huge separator, and it's not for everybody, is sound and feel. And one of the main things that led me to the 0311s in my bag was exactly that, just how good the sound and feel was. But not forgetting that I had the initial version of the 0211s because one thing that baffled me was just how good they made those sound for a hollow body iron, as is the uh, the forged 0311, still the same principles. But they do an extremely good job, and uh, I'm going to try and... Well, you, what you're going to hear right now is me hitting some balls indoors, microphone on the floor, see if you can notice any difference. Now, I'm not sure in terms of indoor, there's a different kind of acoustics. I don't know how much you could pick up. I know, again, I asked Hannah, who's uh, on the camera behind you, what she could hear. Slight difference, but nothing major. And to be honest with you, I'd tend to agree. It wasn't uh, the, the big difference that I was expecting. But I'm going to hit a couple of shots outside here on a par three course, just a um, nine iron in hand. It's, uh, it's, again, it's too, too short for a nine iron, to be honest with you. But I'm going to see if I can tell you why I think these 0311s sound so good and why they've kind of uh, stayed in my bag. But whether we pick any audio, I'm not so sure. So I'll, I'll be quiet for a minute or two. That's just a real crisp knock. It's a decent ball as well, to be fair. I'll take that any day of the week, but I don't know whether you can hear it. It's kind of, when I say hear it, the idea is you, you possibly can't hear it because it's that kind of feel where between club and ball, there's, uh, it sounds pure. And I really love it. Like I said, it's a big deal for me on a personal level, but not necessarily for everybody. But I'll go straight into the 99 of the 0211. And this is where I think you need the kind of feel. And let's see if we can pick anything up differently with this iron. I mean, I don't know whether you can, so I'm not going to say nothing. I'll leave that for you to decide. Not a bad shot again, to be honest with you. That one just hasn't gripped quite as well. Maybe a slightly heavier contact. We are playing off the mats here. There's only a slightly higher pitch sound, and like I said, in most instances, if I was being perfectly honest with you, playing 18 holes in a round of golf, would you pick up on that? No, you wouldn't. So it's not even that would be enough to split them, and surprisingly so, to be honest with you. These 0211s have just done such a good job in terms of how they sound for a cast iron. It's incredible. Now, often in these videos, if I do something about PXG, the question always comes up. One clown will ask me, am I getting paid for these... Um, videos and it does offend me a great deal because we try and keep all these things as unbiased as possible but ultimately i've got the 0311s in my bag so of course i like them i'd be stupid to say otherwise but when we do this video the one thing that comes to mind is just how much general perception has changed maybe of pxg over the years and i think that when we first did our initial review it was of what was a very much a premium product and all the criticisms were based on the price and rightly so you know they were ridiculously priced they were very much aimed at a specific market people with a lot of dough in their pocket things have changed we've got an 80 pound iron that we're compar comparing here today against a 135 iron so they've become very much more mainstream when they want to be what i want to know and what i'm asking the question is has your perception changed of pxg because of that price difference and if so how and why so put that in the comments down below i'd love to hear your own opinions on these right it's time for a summary and uh my opinion on the difference between these two what separates them well i think in terms of aesthetically i said at the beginning of this video they're quite different in terms of looks and i think that's very much a personal thing but i do think it's a big divider in this club choice at the beginning then there's that element of the forged club that's in the 0311 or forged body that's in the 0311. My thoughts on the sound and feel is I can personally definitely feel a difference if you like. The sound not massively different but feel wise it's definitely there and I prefer that of the 0311 but only again marginally different. At the longer end of the bag I really like the fact that the kind of uh, 6 iron, 5 iron, 4 iron still looks like a bit of a player's iron in terms of the profile in the 0311 the club that i game in other words you don't see that back end of it like you do in the 0211s but it packs a punch in terms of forgiveness and i feel really confident that um, i've got a bit of help and assistance in there and again just a minor detail but for me at the longer end of the bag i would prefer 
the 0311. Shorter end of the bag, all honesty, not a lot to split them. Slightly higher uh, toe end on the 0211s, which again, wouldn't be my ultimate choice. But what you're talking about is very minor differences. And again, I always say it in, the, in every video, really, they're very personal preferences. They're not a criticism of one choice nor the other, but I can only give an opinion based on my own uh, individual requirements. So I'm more than happy with the 0311s in the bag uh, for me on a personal level. They tick all those boxes. But then you get back down to that price thing, 50 pound a club over six irons, that's an extra 300 pound in your back pocket. And I think all it reiterates is I did a video last week and if you don't, if you've not seen it, there's a link up above there for you to go and watch that where I suggested that the O211s are perhaps the most underrated and the best value irons out on the market right now. And I firmly believe that to be the case. They're hard to criticize, they perform exceptionally well and that price point is unreal. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to end with one more uh, caveat to all of that though, is I also think that at 135 a club for a forged head built the way the 0311 is with the looks that it's got with a bit more of a premium finish, it has to be said. I think again, I just cannot believe the price points that these have come to in terms of these PXG clubs and uh, why whatever the reasoning being as to why that's happened, who cares? You just take advantage of it as a consumer. And uh, I think either way you went with these, you wouldn't be disappointed. In terms of dry ball data, for those of you who've been looking out for it, yes, I collected it on the video. I'll do the same as I always do. I'll put it at the end of the video. You'll see all three shots uh, with both sets of irons. The difference is very, very briefly are minimal to say the least. And yet again, that 0311, in my opinion, you have a look yourself, performed that little bit better in terms of that balance between a nice launch, spin number control, consistency, those kind of things. Perhaps edged it a little bit, and again, that's just why you're paying that little bit more for it. Right, as ever, I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, if you're not subscribed already, then please do so. We're posting three or four videos a week at the minute, very much aimed at the average golfer. It's tested by a handicapped golfer, just like yourself. I'm not a professional, so the kind of data I collect, the miss hits, the bad shots, are perhaps similar to the ones you might hit on a weekly basis. So consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, also hit that like button. and. Uh, I'm gonna get inside. The idea of wearing a sweatshirt today was based on the weather an hour ago and it's absolutely boiling right now. So uh, I'll see you all soon and thanks for watching.